I was in excruciating pain. There were days I could barely walk. When I went into emergencies, it was obvious that, that I'd had a heart attack. I started going to fertility specialists. Still, nothing happened. I had stage four melanoma, and people with stage four melanoma didn't get better. There wasn't really anything that medical science could do to help me. It's like an enormous hand just reaches in and takes your life away. It's a very powerful effect that contributes about 30 to 50 percent of the effect of any biological cure. It's not what I believe, it's what the science has shown. Now we have the evidence-based proof that the mind can heal and it should be added appropriately to drugs and surgeries. Study after study has shown that people who are lonely and depressed and isolated are three to ten times more likely to get sick and die prematurely. And it turned out the meditators healed at about four times the rate of the non-meditators. It really is a lot of two-way connections. And the brain can also influence the body at even a very cellular level. I don't know any, any single factor in medicine, not smoking, not cholesterol, not blood pressure that affects our lives and our survival to that degree. So why wouldn't everyone be doing it? If there was a patentable product that had those kinds of effects, we'd be spending billions of dollars on research and rolling it out in no time at all. I completely healed. Everything went away, and to me, it just, it, it, it's just magical. Like, I, I'm sold. From what I've seen in my own personal experience, I think it's perfectly reasonable to start a conversation about recovery uh, from MS. But if you wanted to break it down, the drugs weren't going to cure me, not by themselves. I think mind-body medicine is central to good medicine. Our emotions have a powerful effect on our health. We have much more to say over how healthy we'll be than, than our doctors. One day we'll be able to drop the word integrative. This will just be good medicine. There is no doubt the mind and the body are connected. And that when those connections are intact, and in balance, you have health, and when they're broken, you have disease.